And everybody's running. Everyone's running? <laughs> 100 miles an hour. Stretching over more than 800 meters, it is the largest covered outdoor escalator system in the world. You could look around and see above, below you, and, and you actually felt like you were, were there. But you're, you're underwater with the diver. Yeah. Times Square? Sure. And remember to go shopping this time. <laughs> now we're looking at virtual reality in a whole series of age-related conditions. So when we think about dementias and we think about Alzheimer's and we think about Parkinson's, uh, we think about macular degeneration, we do think that VR can play a role uh, in helping some of the side effects of these unfortunate diseases. Can you see it? Yeah. Is it side enough? Uh, whichever way you look, you're looking at it. At my age, it's such a new thing, I just can't comprehend, particularly the young people now who are studying, what they have at their fingertips that we didn't have. The Roman Forum used to be the center of everyday civic life in Rome. There were the pictures I saw in my Latin book, and I couldn't believe I really was seeing the pictures I used to see with my dad in a book, and I actually was in the middle of it all. I think everybody here will enjoy it because it's just different, you know, makes you feel like you're traveling. This is a generation that grew up when all kinds of things were invented while they were growing up. Television, vacuum cleaners, dishwashers. Uh, but if you think about most of these devices, they were installed and plugged in play. It's actually ironic that older adults are the ones who are waiting for technology to catch up with them. Only the younger generation right now is, is willing to read a 60-page instruction manual to figure out how to use something. Might be one of those things that I could go down and sit down and plug it in and go to Spain or New Mexico or wherever you wanted to go and see the scenery. 